Stanya speaking. Oh, I'm speaking from Russia, Siberia, and I'm more excited than usual today. This is not because I'm without makeup. This is not because um, <laughs> I'm always without makeup, but this is because of the topic I'm going to speak. Today I'm going to speak about Russian emotions, intonations, and the Russian banya. Okay, I hope you support me because I'm really excited and I'm a bit afraid and if there are no likes and no comments I will probably delete this video after shortly after it is over. So, Russian emotions and Russian intonation. Um, so let's start from something easy. Sometimes I meet peop the people, foreigners, who are so good in the Russian intonation, uh, in the Russian pronunciation, grammar, and they are really, they really speak very good. But the intonation gives them out. The intonation is different. Intonacia выдает. The intonation is different. So you need to, if you want to speak like Russian, you need to learn more about the Russian intonation. Well, there are several types of the Russian intonation, seven types, and usually we <laughs> mix them, we, and usually we use different types of intonation just at the same moment. But, mm, uh, <laughs> well, I'm excited again. <laughs> I can't speak because I I want to see your faces and it's and I see only this camera. It makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> so please support me somehow. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's return to the Russian intonation. There are huge books about the Russian intonation and also the intensity of speech, the pace of speech, and uh, um, the poses that matters that matter. I will not go deep into the theory today. Well, I will show you the practice. Practice is more important according to some yoga teachers. If you follow my personal profile, you may notice <laughs> that I'm a yoga practitioner. So according to some smart guys, but Practice is more important than the theory. Practice and all is coming. So I'll show you the practice. Mainly I will speak English, but sometimes I will speak Russian and pay attention to my intonation. The thing is that the foreigners usually don't pay attention to the intonation. They focus on grammar, they focus on pronunciation, but they don't pay attention to the intonation. Okay. Russian emotions. Do you know these words? Классно, cool, нормально, normal. Ничего, so so, ужас, кошмар, nightmare, капец, пипец. Капец and пипец are just the slang words that um, may mean different things. It may mean, oh, wow, it's all over, or oh, they may mean, wow, oh, cool. So it also depends on the intonation. What does they mean? Ah, why I've chosen this strange topic, <laughs> the Russian banya? I'm going. I'm really going to tell you why do we go to the Russian banya? Uh, why do we love it? What do we do there? And I will share you. My, with you, my impressions, and this is really sometimes it's scary, but I, <laughs> I want to tell you about that. Well, the main reason is the Facebook. <clears throat> you know, when I <laughs> open the Facebook, what I feel? 
Kashmar. 50 messages. 50 private messages. How are you? Привет, как дела? Good morning. Those small talks, so many small talks. Do you feel, do you think I'm really excited to have these small talks? <laughs> no, I'm really not. Why don't we talk about something exciting? Why don't we talk about sex and alcohol? <laughs> In the previous posts we discussed sex and alcohol. <laughs> well, actually we discussed the Russian banya and we discussed the Russian gestures, but the discussion turned into sex and alcohol. Partially this is funny, partially this is embarrassing, but this is exciting and I prefer exciting topics. Okay, so instead of sending me private messages, how are you, are you fine, you better <laughs> take part in the conversation. But I think you will not. Боитесь, да? Боитесь? You are afraid. <laughs> I, mean, I understand. There is the morality, there are your friends, there are your religion and so on. You will not speak about such topics. But we are in Russia and we ha do have some freedom. We do have some freedom to explore and not to rely on the rules that are imposed from somewhere. <laughs> Okay, but <laughs> so better comment than send me private private messages. Ah, the interesting thing that only the bad boys comment and the good the good people don't comment because they are afraid. The pe the bad people are brave, and if I had a choice where to go to the heaven or to the hell, I would certainly go to the hell because there is much <laughs> better company there. In the heaven I would meet only the angels who will sing mantras and who will say Oh Tanya, как ты сегодня прекрасна! And I will say Ой, а вы тоже! И так каждый день. Ужас! Ужас! Nightmare. <laughs> and in the hell, in the hell, I would meet some great guys. For example, I would meet the author of the Russian textbook Payekhali. I will certainly meet him there in the hell, <laughs> because just look, I, I work with Payekhali with my students, and just look at this book. <laughs> we open the dialogue. The dialogue. Здравствуйте. Это компания Русская Водка Limited? Нет, это компания Русская Водка Unlimited. Компания Русская Водка Unlimited. Нет, вы посмотрите, что он пишет. Ну, это законно вообще. Русская Водка Unlimited. Чему он учит невинных иностранных студентов? Ай-яй-яй. Русская Водка Unlimited. It's so funny. When I first... When I first read it, I couldn't help laughing because this is so true about Russia. Ruska vodka unlimited. Funny. Okay, let's return to the Russian banya. There are several types of Russian banyas. There are the city Russian banyas. The city Russian banyas are ничего, нормальненько так, цивильненько, цивильненько, да, ничего нормально. But I prefer. I prefer the village Russian banyas. They may look different, but I found this picture. It, uh, I think it's good. It's, oh, no, no, it's not kapets. This is the village Russian banya. The house and the banya inside. The banya inside. Um, well, if you haven't ever seen the snow, this is the snow. This white stuff is the snow. The Russian snow. There are very much snow in Siberia, in Russia, and especially where, where I live in Siberia, there is there very much snow. Okay, so let's imagine. It's a... Uh, can you imagine it? The winter day, the sunny winter day, the snow is everywhere. And there is... it's 
about minus 25 degrees Celsius and you are with a friend, with a good friend, or you are, it's better with two good friends, you and two good friends, three, three is the number. Бог троицу любит, мы говорим. So you're with good friends and you go to the Russian banya, to the village Russian banya, and you have some tasty food with you, and you maybe have some something wine or beer, not vodka, no, no, not vodka. Vodka is the Russian disgrace. Vodka makes the people dull and stupid, not vodka. We don't drink vodka in the Russian banya. And uh, the Russian banya is not about sex, surely not about this. <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with sex, though you may might think it does, it has nothing to do with that. It's something different. Okay, so you get to the Russian banya and you see everything is frozen there, everything is covered with snow and you have pipets сколько снега, пипец сколько снега. So you have to dig the snow, you have to clean the snow and so we have really a lot of work to do and then you get open the door <laughs> and you get to the banya and you find the stove the firewood and you heat the banya you fire the firewood and you heat the banya you heat the water tank you need a uh, very hot um, water to have to pare it and you also have with you this very important thing, uh, just a moment I will show you. Vinik, vinik, banya broom. Uh, banya broom may be oak broom or birch. It's more often the birch broom because it uh, birch is more often met in Russia. So you surely need these, will need this. So what do we do in banya? When the banya is heated, when the temperature is about 120, about 120 degrees in Parilka, it means banya is ready. What do we do? Well, actually, we paritsa, we we tam paritsa. What do we do with this broom? We slap each other with this broom. <laughs> Well, I imagine if I wasn't Russian, I would think, well, they are naked there. They slap each other with a broom. What does it mean? Are there, is there the sexual perversion? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is not that. <laughs> Certainly not that. This is just a deep massage, so to say. And in Russia, this is normal. Это вообще нормально. Ну, ну да, голые, ну да, веники, ну и что тут такого? Как иначе-то? Понятное дело. <laughs> Ничего такого страшного нет. So, when, it, when the bunny is ready, you start париться. And after some time in парилка, you will need some rest, and you can do, go outdoors, and you go, and you remember it's winter now, it's minus 25, and you go out without anything you don't need any clothes to go to the, to go outdoors because after parilka you um, you feel fine <laughs> you feel fine even it's minus 25 and in parilka you will know also need some training because imagine it it is a very high temperature and you are slept with this vinic and you will need some endurance. You will need, we, well in Russia we are well trained. So, but if you are not well trained, you may feel like this um, <laughs> dizziness. You may feel some dizziness. So, if you are well trained, this is okay. This is very good. This is very uh, useful for the health and so on. So, after the time in Parilka, after the time the, in outdoors <laughs> you will go to the restroom and you will have some tea or maybe not tea it depends and uh, you rest with your 
friends, you, there, there is the time for the deep talks or for the fun talks. I really love the talks that happen after <laughs> that have happened in Banya because the people really get closer to each other. They really have fun together. They have really so good time together. And uh, after some time in the restroom, you go back to Parilka and then so several times you go to Parilka and you go to the restroom and you do it several times. And after some time, you say, все, я готов. Или я готова. It means, <laughs> that's it. No more parilka, no more veniki. Uh, enough for me. <laughs> okay, and that's it. So what do you think about the Russian banya? <laughs> I hope you understand what, what I've been saying now. Well, for me, the Russian banya is a great party with no consequences. Well, when you drink much at the party, uh, you may have some fun, uh, but after some time, you may feel not so good. And after banya, when you get up in the morning, you feel, wow, so good, so good to be in this body. It's just amazing. So this is very healthy and good procedure. And this is also uh, the party for all your senses. There is the smell, the smell of wood, birch, birch, uh, grasses, fire, everything, snow. Stars are shining, life is good. Uh, and there is also a contrast of temperatures. Minus 25 and uh, 120 degrees in Parilka. So what do you think? Is it... Do you think Banya is class? Or it is... No, ничего, может быть. Or it is Kashmar. What do you think? <laughs> okay, I will see if anybody can see me because I'm not sure. Uh, oh, thank you, Darius. <laughs> okay, привет, привет, привет. О, здорово, ребята! О, много комментариев. Спасибо, что вы меня поддерживаете. Oh, this is good. So, the problem can. Привет, привет, привет. Ну, привет, ребята! Здорово. Спасибо, что вы смотрели меня. <laughs> It was a little bit scary, and you supported me. Спасибо, пока. Увидимся. Сейчас я попробую закрыть это все. Uh, завершить прямо. Окей. Okay.